picked up the win. You got yeah. the job done. Tell us how you're feeling. I'm overwhelmed. I'm just, I'm, I'm took back. I can't put in the words. I'm, I'm very humbled and I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'm very thankful that I, I could come here and put in the work and there's people out there with serious problems at the minute. The world's going in the lockdown. The whole place is shutting down and I'm just here on my own and with my family and just grinding, grinding away, doing something I love and I'm happy that I'm able to do it. Jay? Congratulations on the win tonight, James. Uh, you know, with the fight falling through so many times, did you even allow yourself to believe it was going to happen before you got into the cage tonight? Same as always, man. I just focus on myself. I don't focus on him. And tonight he showed up, and he showed up ready. He's a big, strong motherfucker, and I respect him, and I, I'm, I don't know. I can't even put any words. Sean? Hi, James. We, we spoke during the week and uh, we were talking about the, the respect and maybe the lack of respect you get. Do you think you get a, a bit more respect after that? Just dominant. Shh. Silence. Mm -hmm. well, your, your BJJ and your ground game, it's in every fight you've had for the last few years, it's just been absolutely dominant for every second. Like, how far do you think that can take you? Do you think your ground game can take you all the way to the very top? Okay, right, let's go. I'm going to take me to the very top. I am at the top. I just got to prove it. Mm -hmm. and last one for me, James. If you had one name to say right now, I know you said you wanted the belt and you wanted the championship. No, no, there's Harkuleta and there's Sergio Pettis and all. Who's the one name that you really want next? I'm the only one in the division that matters. So I don't give one bollocks. They all need me. Lenny? James, how's it going? Congrats on an uh, pre uh, impressive performance. Thanks. It puts you in a good seat now for the belt, but before the fight, you said you wanted Sergio Pettis, and yesterday uh, there was a big name announced to the Bellator Bantamweight division. That was Brett Johns, and he was quick to go on Twitter to post about your fight. He posted laughing faces. Is maybe him and you a possible matchup in the future? Give a fuck what he's laughing at. I'm laughing all the way to the bank. That's where I am. You know what I mean? He's only getting started in here. He's only getting started. So I'm laughing all the way to the bank. He's laughing because he wants bank. And I'm the man that has that. And what, 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 the, what are they, are they going to just keep laughing? Are they just going to keep being in denial with themselves? Laughing at me? Pit me down? How many people do I need to strangle? It's all talk, is it? Well, how come I've kept my mouth shut this time? Silence. Kevin. Hey, James, congrats on putting on a successful dub on the Jimmy show. Uh, one of the big questions I got for you is, listen, fighting with no crowds, uh, you know, it's a different transition from you who fights with, uh, fights, you know, with a big crowd in Ireland. How did it feel different, you know, usually not having the, uh, to feed off the energy from the crowd? I want to be the best. That's where I get my energy from. People think I'm all talk. They think I'm just a showman. They think I'm that. They think I'm this. But you know what? I'm it. That's what I am. I'm it. I'm the only fucking one that matters. And they all know that. They can be in denial all they want. They can lie to themselves. But trust me, that's all good in the preparation and the lead up. I'm all talk. They can build it all they want. They can do this. They can do that. And the rest is fight. Then it's real. Then they know it's not all talk. Then I'm on their back. Then I'm smacking them in the mouth. And then they're all silenced. They just need to go through every single, single fucking person to do it. Is that what they want? Do you want me to have 10? Do you want me to just fight the whole division in one line? Is that what they want? Because unless I come out here with a fucking superhero and kill 10 people at fucking once, they're just going to keep saying the same shit. Do you want, do you want me to tell you what they're all going to say about me? Do you know what I mean? I, that's how predictable it is. That, that's, do you know what I mean? It, it's like, what, what, what the, like, do you know what I mean? It, it's mad. I'm fucking, I don't know how they can be. They, they always tell me, be original. Be original, you're not being themselves. You're not being yourself. And then now the whole division's just going to go and say the exact same thing. 
They're copying each other, and they're telling me to be original? Get with it. These are all smarter. These are qualified journalists. Do you know what I mean? You know what's what. Can you not see the pattern that everyone's following? They're all reading each other's tweets and then going, switching the words up a little bit and copying your other blog's tweets. Laughable. Laughable. Well, as I say, I'm laughing to the fucking bank. Andy? James, you have a very special relationship with your parents. Uh, they've been there every step of the way, your career. They're usually there on the, the fight week in, in the hotel and, and, and everywhere, really. They obviously weren't with you this time around. What, what were the emotions like? Or is it a bit weird for you have, not having them here? Mate, big Andy's up the back. So as you think he's not going to not fly over. He's stuck in the fucking back. That's why I jumped out the cage. Ran straight up over to him. Not keeping him out of here. <laughs> so not, I don't give a bollocks about there and COVID this or any like this or any like that. He's usually in my corner, but this time he was up that back. So he was and no one else is here. He, 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 is, you know what I mean? Where we come from, maybe we can sneak bigger things in the harder places. Big Andy <laughs> fucking not a bother them straight past. He ain't got any security guards going to hold them back. Good luck. I wouldn't try and hold them back in here, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> And James, that was a very dominant performance, a real clinic. Did you expect to, it to last? Um, did you expect it to last longer? Did you expect Cal to maybe push into the second round? No. And lastly, for me, is a title fight next for you, or do you think they'll they'll make you fight another one or, or two before you get that belt, that, that shot of the belt? I'm the most important name in the division. Don't care. Jake. James, congrats. I, I was nearly pulled out of this fight, also. So I was, they nearly pulled me, I, I, I took bad stomach pains the night before the weigh-in and I had to drink and eat and rehydrate to get rid of the, the pains in my stomach that were going to call the, the doctors in. And I was in bed, like screaming, I couldn't fucking breathe. So I couldn't. And I was like, do not dare, I told my team, do not dare call any doctors, anyone in here for me. I put my money where my mouth is and I told him I'll die in here for this. And I was fine. I rehydrated. My cramps went away. I, got, I didn't sleep all that night. I woke up. I had loads of weight, more weight to cut because I fucking had drink. I was on weight. I had to drink and eat. And then I had to lose it all again the next morning. And then I rehydrated. Kept the bulletproof mindset. And went and did what I did. How important was it for you to go then through that at the 11th hour just before the weigh-ins? How important was that bulletproof mindset for you to make sure you got them skills and ultimately make sure you everything, mate. When, when I was getting the cramps, I, I'm a strong person and I broke, I was bro- broke down in tears. And I was like, I wanted this so bad. And they were like, oh, my, like let's just let's call the doctors, get in just to have a look. And I said, no, if you call a doctor, it fights off. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I was all, I'm, I'm the man in charge, I mean, I'm, I'm paying, I'm, I'm making the money and I'm paying the bills and I thought, don't, don't do that, don't do that, I'm, I'm in charge and I told him, if I think I can't fight, I'll, I'll promise you I'll, I'll call the doctors in. And I agreed, we got it started, got the nutritionist in, we got water back into me, put on a few pounds again, rehydrated and I woke up the next morning and got, and got it done and, and that was just a freak, it must have been something I ate and stuff because I, I do you know what I mean? I was prepared and it was just something that I had and these things happen. It was something unpredictable and it was nothing to do with like any fucking madness that I was doing. I did everything professional. Everything was better than usual. Not, no excuses, no nothing. And I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what they say really. I'm just, I'm, I'm very grateful. I'm very happy and very, very proud of myself. I know you've, of course, had your SBG family around you all this week, but of course you've also had your dad, Andy, out there. How special was that for you? How, like, I know we've spoke a few times now and you've spoke about just how much of a hero your dad is to you. What's that like to have him out there on this fight week in the middle of when the world's going crazy? It means everything, man. He's the man. I, I know no matter what happens, me and him will we'll go all the way. He'll die for me and I'll die for him no matter what fucking happens. And he's got my back and I've got his and he's my, it's my best mate. I love my dad to bits. He helps me every way and he was up all night with me. He travels everywhere. I can't even, I can't even give him, I can't even buy dinner for the man. 
I'm making a fucking mint. I'm absolutely minted, Darren. I swear to God, I, I'm, I, I could never imagine how much money I, I've got. I could never, I could never imagine it. I'm not trying to brag. I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm, I'm being, it's humbled me. So it is, I, I could never, I could never picture it. Do you know what I mean? Now I'm going to go buy, I'm going to buy a house, I'm going to buy apartments so on and rent it out and I'm going to do all this fucked up grown up shit. Uh, it's just madness, you know what I mean? I don't even have to look at my bank accounts anymore. My dad wouldn't even let me buy my dinner. Do you know what I mean? And uh, it's just madness and it's never about that. It's just, it's just love and pride and I'm just doing this because I love it for no other reason, just to show what I'm made of, to show what I come from. To make my town of Shraban proud, my country of Ireland, make my mum, my brothers, my girlfriend. I'm just doing all these people proud and all my friends back home, Jimmy, Ryan, all the boys, JD, do you know what I mean? And Kiefer and all the boys. I'm just, man, I don't even know what to put in the words. I'm just, I'm just, everyone helps me and I'm just glad I can put in this hard work and make everyone else proud. And, fucks me up sometimes, fucks my head up. These people are just so dedicated to me. And I feel like I can't even give back to them. They won't do anything, let me give back to them. So the only way for me to give back to my friends and my people is to put in the hard work and go out there and fucking represent them with pride and do them all proud. And I've done that again once tonight. James Hamilton. Congratulations, James. Well done. Thanks. Um, I just want to say, how big is this win for you, James? Because obviously out with Europe, maybe not a lot of people know how good Carl Eleanor is, but in the UK, he's well respected. And people know how good he is, so he's for a you, beast. how big a win is this to basically take him out in the first round? It's fucking huge. Huge for me. It's absolutely huge. Do you know what I mean? And sad as this, mate, I... The only people that I'm ever going to get credit from is them few people that I've mentioned in that list there I called out for around my hometown. I'm never in my life going to get accepted into this world and of MMA, and that's just something I, I've accepted now. They don't like it. And what, what can I do? I'm just doing me. And I always fucking will. What do you think? It's, this is, I'm fighting 10 years, two, two weeks ago. 10 years, I had my first fight at 13 years old in St. Pat's Hall in Stravan. Happy fucking anniversary to me. Dunno. James, congratulations. Unbelievable performance. In my personal opinion, from watching you, the best, the best one yet that you've given. Um, a, word on, a word on just this last year, a word on the putting a definitive end to the Cal Eleanor saga that's been going on for over a year at this point. Didn't get touched. Uh, James, I also wanted to ask you about Kiefer Crosby's performance earlier. Did you get to see it and, and what's your no, analysis? No, there's no TVs at the back. I just heard he got stopped by a cut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's that's all. That's all. That's all, right. and I know the doctor stopped it because it ain't no fucking stops, it ain't no cut stopping <laughs> key for anything, that's for sure. Yeah, I've uh, I've one more question for you, James. Uh, of course, this fight was would have been uh, in in London in May, but if it hadn't happened in London, it would have been in Dublin in the Three Arena. That's what the show was going to be tonight. You're an influential figure. You're a guy who a lot of people look up to. Do you think would would you be willing to say that it's it's time that the the government here in Ireland start looking at maybe getting sporting events back with fans? 100%. They have to. They, they have to, but man, who, who am I to say? I, I'm an athlete. I fight. I love the fucking fans in there. I'm a showman. I fight for my people and I put a show on every time and, and that's what I want, but I, I, I don't know rules and regulations. I'm not here to dictate what governments and what not should do. I do me. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to say that they should do this and do that and be fuck COVID and fuck wearing masks and that's what people want me to do. But I, I, I don't know. I don't even know what the fucking thing is. It's a flu or a virus or something. Do you know what I mean? So how the fuck can I say get fans in there with this thing could probably wipe out the 10,000 people that's in there? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't want that to happen. So I, I don't know. Do 
you know what I mean? I just want to do what's the safest and best way possible. And I can't fucking wait to get back in there in front of a sold out tray arena and put on the Jimmy Show for all my fans around the world. Our last question comes from the line of Michael Markey. James, congratulations on the win. Um, just want to ask you, that's another submission victory for you tonight. I believe that's your ninth in your professional career. What does that say about you as a fighter and how good your jiu-jitsu is? It says the same thing I say every other time, and they tell me that it's all talk. Is it all talk? Does that, does, does that, does that mean it's, I'm all talk? Do you know what I mean? What, how many more do I need before it's not talk? Because for the last month, anything I posted up on Instagram was either telling them what I was physically doing, or else just saying silence. Silence. And I walked out there tonight, that rain, it was silent. Not a fucking stitcher. Apart from Big Bird up in the corner shouting and screaming. Do you know what I mean? And apart from that, then the, the place was silence. And I'm sure we're going to hear the same shit. These all talk. Oh, we can't stand on the feet. He can't do this. He can't do that. Why would I stand on my feet when I can be on your back choking the life out of you? Dead. Dead. If the ref doesn't drag me off, you're dead. What, 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 what do you want to do? Oh, I'll stand on the feet. It's not kickboxing me. You can't do grappling because no get off his back or whatever. It's not a juicy competition. It's not wrestling. It's MMA. I'm going to take you down. I'm going to get on top of you. I'm going to elbow you in the skull. And then I'm going to choke you. Do you know what I mean? What, what do you want me to do? Well, I'm telling you is what I'm going to do. And you're trying to tell me it's all talk. And then I go out and just do it every time. And it's still all talk. I'm still not good enough. Even though they are the best in Europe. That's what they're saying. Who's, who's going to be the best in Europe? And I go out and don't even get hit. What, what can I do? I can tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back. I'm going to spend time with my dogs, my mother, my father, my girlfriend. I'm going to relax in my house, put my feet up for a week, get back training. And then I'm going to go again. And I'm never, ever going to stop. You're going to have to kill me stone dead to get me out of this game. The feet can't break me. Injuries can't break me. Nothing can break me. You're going to have to kill me to get me out of this game. Criticism can't do it. Nothing can do it. I don't, I don't buy into that anymore. Do you know what I mean? They're, I'm the man in the arena. And that's all the coins. That's all the coins. They can, they can say what they want sitting on their sofa with their can of beer. I'm working my balls off. All right, I'm done. I'm getting the fuck out of here, boys. I appreciate everyone. I'm very grateful. I'm very humbled. And thank you very much.